good morning students how are you all i hope everyone is fit and fine at their house let's begin with our mathematics class today we are going to revise lesson number 4 of standard 4 the name of the lesson is fractions so let's learn about fractions this is sandhya jadhav your mathematics teacher students look at this picture carefully what you observe over here yes birthday is going on in our birthday we invite our friend we have balloons cake candles caps and so much enjoyment like this we celebrate our birthday and we get gifts also and we distribute the cakes and sweets to our friends okay but for distributing the cakes to our friends we have to divide the cakes into parts now look at this cake it represent one whole and we have divided the cake into parts when a whole thing is divided into parts each part represent a fraction so fraction is a part of a whole okay students when any object is divided into two equal parts then each of the parts is one half of that object See, one whole part is divided into two equal parts. One half of the whole is shown by a fraction as one upon two. Okay. Let's see another example. When any object is divided into three equal parts then each of the part is one third of that object as you can see in this picture one third of the whole is shown by a fraction 1 upon 3 now when any object is divided into four equal parts then each of those parts is a quarter of the whole and one quarter is shown by the fraction as 1 upon 4 you can see in this picture the whole part is divided into four equal parts so it is known as a quarter when an object is divided into four equal parts and three of its parts are taken together then it is called as three quarters as you can see in this picture there is a one whole part one object is there one whole object is there we have divided into four equal parts but only three parts are taken together so it is known as Three quarters, and three quarter is shown by a fraction as three upon four. In a fraction, the number written above the line is the numerator, and the number written below the line is the denominator. See this example: four upon six. So four. is written above the line so it is 
numerator and 6 is written below the line. So it is denominator. You can see the another example also here 2 upon 3. 2 is the numerator and 3 is the denominator. Now, see over here. Here, a circular disc is divided into 5 equal parts. Okay, but 3 of its parts are colored. So, the colored part of the disc is shown as 3 upon 5. Because out of the 5 parts of the disc, 3 parts are colored. So, it is shown in the fraction as 3 upon 5. Means 1 upon 5 plus 1 upon 5 plus 1 upon 5 is equal to 3 upon 5. The denominator 5 shows how many equal parts are made of the whole. And the numerator 3 shows how many of those are taken. Look at this trick. It is divided into 7 equal parts and 2 parts are colored which means 2 upon 7 of the strip is colored. Here the number 7 gives the total number of the equal parts made and 2 gives the number of the parts taken. And 2 is the numerator and 7 is the denominator. Ok students. Now we will do an exercise. This is question number 1. Write the numerator and denominator of each of the following fractions. It is very easy students. So we will see question number 1. 3 upon 7. So here numerator is 3 and the denominator is 7. Next 8 upon 11. Numerator is 8 and denominator is 11. So, I have solved two sums. You have to do remaining with your own. Now, let's do another example. Question number 2. Write the shaded and unshaded parts of the shapes below as a fractions and in words also. Now, student. You can see various shapes over here. So, we will see the first sum. Here, total parts. Okay. The whole is divided into total 8 parts. And out of that 8 part, 3 parts are colored. Okay. So, how many shaded fractions are there? 3 upon 8. Okay. And how many unshaded part? 5 parts are unshaded. So, unshaded fraction is 5 upon 8. And it can be read as 5 upon 8. Now, see another sum. Here, whole is divided into 8 equal parts. And 4 parts are shaded. So, shaded fraction is 4 upon 8. And unshaded fraction is also 4 upon 8. So, it can be read as 4 upon 8. So, students, you have to write in this way of the another examples also with your own. Understood, students? Now, let's do question number 3. Write the given fraction and color and equal part in the given shape. You can see here, various shapes are given. In the first shape, it is written as 3 upon 6. So, how you can write the 3 upon 6? 3 is the numerator and the 6 is the denominator. Means, out of 6 parts, 3 parts you have to color. As you can see in this picture. Now, the second example, 2 upon 6. Means, out of 6 parts, you have to color 2 parts and it can be written as a 2 as a numerator and 6 as a denominator. Rest 3 sums do with your own. So students, you have to watch this video carefully 
and completely and you have to write down question number 1, 2 and 3 in your mathematics notebook. Okay students, I hope everyone understood the lesson fraction very well. Thank you students. Thank you so much for listening. Take care and be safe.